Hello everyone, greetings from Engramium Plus and welcome back to the channel. Today I am excited to introduce you the brand new WP User Frontend 4.0 and this update is a major leap forward. This plugin has received a complete overhaul with a cleaner interface, faster performance and a more intuitive user experience. Whether you creating new post form, user registration forms or managing subscriptions, user frontend has taken everything to the next level. Here what we will cover in this video, a walkthrough of new form builder design, improved user registration which is a pro feature, important updates. You will also learn what's new in user frontend and user frontend pro, the key changes you need to know about how to install and set up both the free and pro version and how to get started even if you are a beginner. So if you are looking to build powerful front-end forms without touching a single line of code, you are in the right place. Let's get into it. So first we will see the WP user front-end, the free version. To do that, let's go to our website. So this is our website. From here, we'll go to the plugins, add new. Search for WP user frontend. So this is our plugin. We'll click install now. It will take few seconds to install the plugin. So the plugin has installed. Now we click on activate. After activating the plugin, we will be introduced with the quick setup wizard. Now click Let's Go. From here, we will be able to configure the basic settings, for example, enable payments, make payments for user to add post or front end. So, this is a basic overview of the new features and how to install the free version and the pro version. So, we will not be covering the payment option in this video. So, will not check this one install WP UF pages so it's important that install the pages so we'll click this one share essentials so for now we'll not share any essential information to the WP user frontend developer so after that we'll click continue so initial setup has been done now we'll go to the full settings after that from here, we need to configure some basic settings. For example, show admin bar. For now, we'll only show admin bar to the administrator. Admin area access, we'll set it to the default for now. And now we'll hit save changes. After that, we'll go to the front end posting. Edit page, that will be edit. Default post owner, that will be the admin. Show custom fields for now we will not be showing the custom fields insert photo image size the thumbnail size will do the work for this one enable image caption let's click this one default post form sample form after that we'll hit save changes now we'll go to the dashboard user can edit post yes user can delete post yes pending post edit let's enable this one too editing published post yes let's enable this one and save changes the most important part that is my account so on the setup wizard the pages we have installed from here we need to set that page for example let's check this one the account page active page let's do that for the dashboard the dashboard will be the activated page so after that we will hit save changes login registration in here i would like to mention the registration form feature is the pro feature of the wp user front end but we will get the basic registration form by copying this short code so for now we will keep this as it is for now and hit the save changes that we will get the payment option we will not be covering on this video and then we will get the email option only the guest email is available on the free version after that all the options is available in here all the those are for the pro version for example privacy option sms 
social login, user directory, invoice, text, and content filtering. Those are all available from the WP User Frontend Pro. Now let's check on help from where we can get the documentation for the WP User Frontend Pro and the WP User Frontend Free version. And from the premium, we get to know all the features that are available in the WP User Frontend Pro. If we go to the tools, from where we can install the WPF pages, we can reset the settings, we can delete forms, we can delete the transaction as well. If we go to import, in here we can import the forms and we can export the forms as well. After that we will get the transactions, we don't have any transaction right now. We will get the coupon option which is available on the Pro and if we go to the subscription which is available in the WP user frontend free version but we are not covering this one we will have the dedicated video on WP user frontend subscription after that we will go to the modules all the modules is available from the WP user frontend pro and finally we get the registration from which is also available in the WP user frontend pro although there is a short code by using it we can get a basic registration forms and finally, which is the WP user frontend post form, which is available in the free version, we are going to see the new form builder. And in here, we can see that we'll have a new add new button. By clicking it, we can create a form from the blank form. We can select the post form. We can select the WooCommerce product form. We can select the EDD form as well. Now create a form from the blank. First, let's rename this form test form and click on this icon to set this name and by clicking it we will be able to add this field in here or we can drag this field in here to add the form. Let's create another field the post excerpt featured image category and text and don't show this again and one thing I would like to mention in here that post title, post content, post excerpt, featured image those can't be copied because in a post there can be an only one featured image only one post title that's why if we click copy there will say you already have this field in the form so now our basic field has added if now in here we can drag this field in the bottom of this one we can edit this field from here we can change the label changed and save the form every individual field has its own settings for example if you click on this one edit will have this option to edit this fields option and every form has its own settings and to go that we will click settings in here we will get the general settings for this form post type default category successful redirection post submission status published submit post button text submit your post and so on after that we will get the payment settings there will be notification settings there will be display settings advanced and post expiration which is available from the pro now we have created the basic form now we will copy this one and create a page to show the post form this is our post form and add a short code paste the short code in here and hit publish now let's access the post form on the front end. So this is our post form has been added. Now what we'll do, we'll go to the settings, permalink, the post name should be configured and hit the save changes. And this will prevent us from getting 404 in few pages. Now all the basic configuration has been done. Now we'll go to appearance, editor, click on navigation, from this three dot we'll click edit now we'll add the post from on the navigation so that those pages can be accessed easily before that we'll 
add account we will add dashboard we will add our post form and hit the save let's go on the dashboard let's view our website and here is our website and from here we can go to the account from here this is the account that from coming from the WP user frontend and this is the dashboard that we have configured that is the default base whenever we go to the account in here we can see the posters we can edit the profile we will get the subscription billing address submit post and this is our post let's create a post from the front end this is a post content our first post from the front end post excerpt featured image for now let's skip it. this one this one let's add a text this is our text and hit submit and our post has been submitted if we would like to see the post let's go to the back end see all posters this is our first post from the front end if you go to the front end so this is how the wp user front end works and this is the new form builder for the post forms now let's see the registration forms to do that we have to download the wp user front end pro before that if you go to the pricing the wp user front end has four options you can buy the personal one you can buy the professional and the business and after buying it we can download it from our own account wp user front end pro now let's go to our website navigate to plugins add new upload the plugin now install now our wp user front end pro has been installed now click on activate the plugin now if we go to the wp user front end registration forms this is the thing that I would like to mention in here the biggest update introduced in WP user frontend 4 is unless you activate the license none of the options or features will be available whether you are using it on the dev website or the live website you have to have activate the license so now we'll act activate the license to do that let's go to the license now our license has been activated now if we go to the registration form we will get the new builder for the registration forms now let's create registration forms to do that let's click add new just like the post form for the registration form we will get the blank form we will get the Dukan vendor registration form we will get the WC vendor registration forms we will get the WC FM membership registration forms but first let's create a form from the blank I create this one we'll add the username we'll add the first name we'll add the last name display name nickname email and the password and as we all know we can rename the forms by clicking this one registration form and hit click this one and every individual field has its own settings if we click edit you can change the level username here we'll click it the first name in every field settings by clicking on edit now our field settings has been edited now we'll go to the form settings to do that let's click on settings in here we'll get the general option user rule can be configured from here for example administrator editor author let's select author after sign off settings, same page, successful registration, submit button, register now, let's hit save form. After that, we'll get the notification settings, the display settings, and the advanced settings. Although we will get the modules, no modules are configured or activated yet. Now, if we would like to see the preview of this form, we can click on preview. This will be the preview of this form now let's save the form copy the short code 
One thing I would like to mention in here that for the registration, we will get two shortcodes. One is for the form and one is for the profile. We will copy the shortcode of the form. Let's copy this one. Create a page in here. Registration and create a short code paste the short code and publish now let's go to the page from the front end we will see you are already logged in now you will try to see this page on a different browser now if we go to the page we will see user registration is disabled please contact the admin to enable so this is what I would wanted to show you this error we need to go to the backend go to the settings and general we need to enable anyone can register after that it save changes now Let's go again on the page the registration form will show now we will create or register as a user this is our username first name last name display name will be auto generated nickname test wpef the email at the red wpef.com this will be our password let's confirm the password and register now, now we'll go to the users so this is the user that has been created from the registration form. We will wrap up today's video. I hope you have gained valuable insights into the new WP user frontend 4.0 from a refreshed interface to powerful features in both the free and pro version. If there is a specific feature you would like us to explore in more details, feel free to let us know in the comment section below. And if you need assistance and installation setup or have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.